Okay, so in this video, we're going to see the structures of a pregnant uterus. So uh, there are several changes that happens in a pregnant uterus. This is the model of the pregnant uterus. This is the uterus itself. These are the ovaries. This is the fallopian tube. And these represent the vagina. So this is the external view. If I open it, you can see the internal view. So things that you can see in the internal view just as a reminder of the structures of the uterus. So the uterus, it's an organ for reproduction. So this will help to harbor the baby while it's developing. So in here we have the lumen of the uterus, which is a hollow organ. This internal part will be the endometrium. This middle part is the bulk of the uterus, is the myometrium, the muscle. Myo means muscle, metrium means uh, uterus. And this will be the perimetrium the outer membrane the per, of the peritoneal cavity that surrounds or the peritoneum that covers the uterus. This will be the cervix of the uterus. This will be the body. This is the fundus. Now, in the pregnant uterus, some structures that you can see is, of course, the fetus or the embryo. And then <clears throat> you can see the placenta. In this case, this uh, will be a pregnant uterus over 11 days because at 11 days of development, that's when the placenta develops. And the placenta helps for the maintenance of the pregnancy. Once the egg is fertilized, is fertilized in the uterine tubes in between the ampulla and the isthmus. And this fertilized egg now is going to be called a cycle and the cycle will transfer from the uterine tubes or fallopian tubes into the uterine cavity. Now by day seven of development, this cycle will have transformed into a hollow structure that we know as the blastocyst. And the blastocyst will implant on day seven, so one week after fertilization. And it tends to implant in the posterior part of the uterus by the fundus. And then from there you start the developing of the organ system during organogenesis and then you end up with the embryo with the rudimentary organs that will start growing in size during the second and third trimester and then they will start functioning more properly. Now this is then the embryo with the head facing the urine canal or sorry the cervical canal which is this and this is the vagina. And then here is the placenta. The placenta will help to maintain the pregnancy because progesterone, which is the hormone of pregnancy, it is first produced by the corpus luteum in the ovaries. And then as the placenta is developing, the placenta starts secreting progesterone, estrogens, human placental lactogen, human chronic gonadotropin hormone, and as well relaxin. So the placenta has two sides, the maternal side, which is rough, and it has a, an embryonic or fetal side, which is smooth. It has a membrane and it is covered by these blood vessels internal. Now the placenta connects to this umbilical cord and the umbilical cord, it is the area where blood vessels passes through so that the baby can have oxygen, it can have nutrients available, and it can get rid of wastage. Now, in the umbilical cord, we have two veins, and then, sorry, we have one vein that carries the oxygen and the nutrients, and we have two arteries that carries the waste, the waste is from the embryo. And then this umbilical cord connects again to the placenta. And the placenta, it is connected to the uterine wall. And it is connected by some villi that are called chorionic villi. And it is here in this chorionic villi where we have the maternal circulation nearby the fetal circulation. And then we have diffusion of nutrients and gases in between these blood vessels from the maternal side and the blood vessels from the fetal side. 
There is no direct connection between these blood vessels, so only the nutrients and gases and wastes diffuses through this area. And then in here, we have this membrane. This membrane, it is called the amnion. The amnion, it is protecting the fetus. And inside this amnion, we have the amniotic cavity in which the baby floats in amniotic fluid. And then outside of this, we have the chorion itself, which is the basically the part of the extra embryonic layers or extra embryonic membranes that connects into the uterus. So this is the myometrium of the uterus. And again, just to see the structures of the pregnant uterus as a summary, this will be the cervical canal. This membrane in yellow color represents the amnion. This is the amniotic cavity. And then we have amniotic fluid inside. This is the embryo. This is the umbilical cord. This is the placenta. This is the myometrium. And this is the uh, chorea outside the amnion. And this is all for this video. Bye-bye.